everybody have one of those as a child. Oh, so, <laughs> certainly one in everybody's More shed. Treasure. I wonder what we can do with this. Something. We're definitely going to be able to use it for something. Hello. Today's programme is about... What are you mending? How roleplay can be managed and adapted. What are they? How adults and practitioners can work with children to enhance the play. And how calling a cab can make perfect role play. I want to go in the park. Turning a cardboard box into a Ferrari is just one of the unexpected twists and turns that can happen here at Stanley Road School in Worcester. The garage role play area within the foundation stage unit was developed after the practitioners discovered the children were fascinated by cars and travel. What do you remember about the garage? Lift cars. A series of mind mapping sessions revealed just how much they knew and supervised visits to local petrol stations and shops gave the children first-hand experience of the sights, sounds and smells of a working garage. A DVD film stimulated more thoughts and then parents found a new home for their rubbish as the role play area was assembled using the children's ideas. Hello Lucy, Hello. the garage looks wonderful. Oh, it's been so fantastic. The children have just been so enthusiastic about playing with it. It's been brilliant. Yeah. That's lovely. How have they developed it? Well, we've got lots of writing going on, lots of signs, um, lots of um, talk about being at the petrol station at the weekend, something like that, so they're bringing things home. We've got a job to do, Thomas. Do you want to say, hey, to do a job for you? Yeah. Um, Oh, well, the car wash, you can go and ask for the car wash. Things like they've developed it, so it started with just petrol station and then the workshop and now the car wash. And, and they're getting really good at bringing things out, putting them back at the end of the day. That's so wonderful. It's working and really how have well. the adults been involved? It's been marvellous. It's been marvellous playing with them, but actually I stood back and watched the play that was going on, which can lead me into developing the play in the future. So that's really, really good. That's the latest job. Let's see how much is this job going to cost? 16. 16 pounds. OK. Throughout this role play, all the practitioners kept Sue and myself updated on the progress and development of the garage. With this role play, I found I was modelling very much to begin with. I yes. was being a customer, I was being a mechanic, mm. I was developing and modelling the language, really. Um, but towards the end of it, I hope to be coming out of it and observing and letting yes. them lead me. And I think that works with most role plays. Yeah, 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 definitely. I think it's important that you you don't sort of barge in and put your ideas in too much then, because the, the children, that, that's not letting them play freely and that you need to be led by the children then after yes. initially modelling. Hello sir, how much petrol do you need today? Um, uh, 200. Eight. It, you have to grit your teeth to go into role, but then you can ask questions. I don't know what to do with my car, or how do I fix in this? Or we've got another customer. That sort of thing. When you're actually in role, yes. is the best way. And then you can see the children react to you and go yeah. with them. Two hundred. It's um. It's two. Um, three, four, five. Yes. The adult involvement in role play is so important, not so that the adults can dominate and direct the children, but so that they can be organised by the children. It's important too that the adults can see which direction the children are taking it in and they can follow. They can role model some of it and then they can find out what the next stage is for the children. Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on. He needs to clean up. This is in the car wash. This is in the car wash.
The language that's come out has been staggering. In fact, one of the children, for example, I've never heard him talk as much as he has recently about the garage and all the words connected with it. He's just taken off. And as a teacher, that is just incredible to see, even if it's just that one child that has benefited from it. I think they've been using it very well and they really enjoy it because a lot of boys love cars and they like going with the tools and washing cars. I think they've been quite inventive when they've been doing things. You know, they've, the fact that they've only got nails and, and things out there and they, they've just made up their own games with them and been quite engrossed in it. This is his Ferrari and you've just broken the soft top on it. Observations. I mean, how do you observe children? Because that is so important. Is it just you? Do others observe? All the staff here will observe the children, so we get different points of view oh. of, of how the children are playing. But um, I will stand back with a clipboard. Oh. It's to inform future planning. It's to see the possible lines of development that we can take from the children's play. This is making important observations of what the children are doing in role play. This gives her loads of information to use later. It tells her things about what the children are doing, what the children are thinking, how the children are organising their role play. It helps her to then decide what she needs to put in later. It sometimes gives her information about misconceptions the children have got. And she knows exactly then how to help those children. They're really important, the observations that she makes. The outdoor garage area is linked to a forecourt shop set up by the children within the classroom. And by and large, the practitioners allow the children a free flow to play in both areas. I think there's such a wealth of exciting things inside and outside the classroom that the children have got a lot to choose from. And it becomes normality if you're always allowed out. Yeah. It's not so exciting we're all pushing to get out. Yeah, the children yes. don't feel, oh, I'd better go now, otherwise I'm not going to get a chance. No, yes. exactly. Yes. And, they can always And so with that. the role play area, I haven't actually restricted it at all. And we haven't had any problems at all with it being too full. Hot dinners. Lucy's class of 28 children is ethnically diverse. For more than half of them, English is an additional language. And this is an important consideration when planning the role play. Practitioners capable of translation are always on hand to help with the home language. It's very important to get the role, um, the support staff working in role as well with yes. the children so it can be all in home language. Yes, so that those yeah, children aren't as confident. Yeah. The home language needs to be developed as, as much, you know, as, as English as well, oh, you know, awesome. to, to bring on confidence in, in those skills. Yes. Taxi! Guiding the role play is a little bit like a journey. By listening to the children, we're going in different routes and different directions. At Stanley Road, there's a great connection with travel and journeys. Over a third of the children in Lucy's class have got fathers who are taxi cab drivers, like my driver, Harris. And that's how this became part of the story. Two of the dad's cabs got called in to a special job at the school to help spread the knowledge, the children's knowledge that is, of travelling by taxi. How much I charge? This is called taxi meter. It shows how much we are charging. When we start travelling, this start ticking. What you're going to do is go for a ride around the playground. I want to go to the park. You want to go to the park? Where yeah. do you want to go, Iris? We can go I want to go in the park. Brilliant. 
We noticed they were playing in the garage, they actually had the cardboard box yeah. and um, they decided they were going to Halifax, some families um, live in Halifax and that made me realise a lot of them were saying oh we're going to Tesco's, we're going to the park so the boys set up a taxi, just very simple in the classroom and we're using the IT to go to all sorts of places, local area, the local park but also um, to Pakistan, Bangladesh, Portugal and um, to the moon. Did they have two driver's seats in the front? No. Did we find that out? Well, we found out that they didn't, didn't they? You want three in the back. So children have been using their imagination in and, their And this journeys. is something I really want to start with the real yes. and then let them use their imagination and this is where they're really flying now. I want to go to stars. To stars. Oh, we need to find the moon then. Lucy follows the fantasy journeys created by the children. Some of the children have excelled and they have adapted it for themselves and they've started to sort of go to different places. You know, they take the cars, the, the car wheels, and they drive along and they go into Birmingham, where, which is where they often go to. They're going to, to our houses to, to see different things. Some of them have even gone to Pakistan in the car. And so it's all been um, done to, to what their level is and what they know, what their experiences are. And it also has sort of made them think and grow from that as well. And they're using it really, really well. Mariam, how much does that cost? Um, Do you want to look at your special clock? Four. Twenty-one. Collect the money. The garage role-play area has been up and running for only three weeks, but is already showing signs of wear and tear. But more importantly, the children are beginning to lose interest in it. Knowing when to finish one role play and start a fresh project is vitally important. I find role play can dwindle fairly quickly. You yes. can have it working really well for a couple of weeks and then suddenly no one wants to be in it at all. It gets static quickly, of course, but once it's reached that limit, you need to move it on. You need yes. to find out from the children where they want to go next, really. And I think someone who spends a lot of time making a beautiful role play area, which is immaculate, mm keeps it there all term, really, what, what good is that for the children? And finally, the children who created this garage help with the clearing away and dismantling. But not before they've served one last customer. Fill her up, please. We're going on a long journey, aren't we? Children need to know that you value their role play, that they take the lead, you don't interfere, and you're led by them. Yet. Bye for now. <laughs>